went down easy. He didn't ride it down. to it. Nope. The only other thing, get to where you're starting to mow, pop this up, it engages the blades. Okay. And that's, that's it. Good deal. Another set of blades. And here's the parts that they didn't use when they put the mulching kit on. They had to take some off to put the mulching kit on. Okay. And that's basically all of this. Okay. Except for checking the oil, which is the yellow thing right over here. Yeah, check it between the two lines. Okay. And the book tells you what oil to use on it. Okay. And basically that's it. There's nothing underneath except for a gas tank. And fuses in the battery. And that's all that's under there. Okay. All right. So you've got the lights, so. What is this? That is res reservoir for the drive train. Oh, okay. okay. And it's just very, very little oil in it right there. Okay, you got the light kit. Y'all got the high <laughs> And now you can mow at night. Nice. <laughs> mow at night, hon. Nice. I'm sure you'll be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that's it to it. Greasing this thing. Basically the wheels. Okay. Are the only thing you got to grease. Okay. Everything else is sealed bearings. Awesome. Of course, you got to raise it up, and change the blades when you get ready to do that. Okay. Other than that, that's simple and easy for that one. Yeah. On and play with it. Go ahead, babe. Oh, he jumped it. Uh oh, I pushed a button. <laughs> I did. There we go. 
Oh, it's, that's a fancy one. It is. Is it still going? Yes. Just sitting here. This is your brake. Okay. Release it. Push it. Push it, then push that button right here. Now release this. It sets it. Ah, okay. Uh, since you got a HST, forward and reverse are the pedals. Okay. Over on this side is your high range, low, low range, rabbit and turtle. Okay. Four wheel drive, two wheel drive. It's a two wheel drive, it's separated. Four wheel drive is together. Got it. This, when you take the backhoe off and get an attachment on the back, mm -hmm. or put a belly mower on it, will raise and lower. Okay. The three point hitch. But it does nothing with the backhoe on it? No. Okay. The three point hitch and the mower or whatever you put on it. Now this is a neat little setup. Also, uh, are you going to mow any more than kind of what's... Eventually, maybe. You've got a cruise control. Okay. Get to the speed you're wanting to go with your pedal. Push this down. Let go of your pedal. Then you just cruise along. Nice. And of course, this is the throttle. Okay. And that's, that's all you can say about it. Now, what's this versus that, the throttle? This is high range and low range, so to speak. Okay. Um, it's just a higher speed. Gear. Okay. Higher gear, yes, sir. So if you're in the in the rabbit, you've got a little bit more speed here. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. Yeah. Well, it's the same speed; it just goes faster. Right. That's what it is. Um. Do you think you're going to take the front end loader off? I I don't know. Right now, we're gonna do everything we can with these. We looked at yeah. some of the other uh, attachments, uh, mm -hmm. implements, and I'm not sure what we would need. You know, maybe a tiller at some point. But yeah. well, like he said the tiller is like twenty seven hundred dollars, and you get a pretty nice regular tiller and get in smaller spots with one of those. I don't know. Yeah, but it's only that wide. Well, That's, true. That <laughs> That's true. That and that, depending on how big your garden's gonna be. <laughs> right. But the book will show you how to take it off. Okay. If you want to, but it's got to be flat and level. Preferably on concrete. Okay. And I'll show you a little bit of it.
Dennis Young can win the bag, but he's that done. PTO okay. in the back. Okay. And then this engages it. Okay. Oop. Just down to there. You can actually do both, huh? Mm hmm well, You can do, do both or just do the belly mower. Mm -hmm. belly mower. Mm -hmm. Now if you get a say a belly mower and a pull behind mower, that's PTO run, sit off the side, then you would roof this. That's your whole big engine. Yep. Um, we got a fuel filter here. Okay. Um, that's basically it. Over on this side. Okay. One, two. This 
to your antifreeze overflow. Mm -hmm. Dip sticks right here. This one. Now this one is like your mobile home. Diesel uh, or CJ4 oil or better. Okay. 15W40, whatever. Matter of fact, you can probably use the same stuff using the mobile home. <laughs> Fill it here. What I like, it's got a screen to clean off. Okay. If you're doing a lot of stuff, and the fans reverse, so all the air is going to be pulled in from this way. Okay. Unscrew this knob, slide this out, and your battery's in here. Okay. Only other thing is four-wheel drive. You right there, yellow dip. Gear oil. Uh -huh. Dipstick. And it's just got a very little offset. Okay. Ninety weight. Uh, your oil. Okay. You can use any kind of diesel fuel that you want to, any kind of diesel oil, any type of green antifreeze. The only thing that's required is a hydraulic fluid. And that's got to be Kubota. Hydraulic fluid. Okay. And with everything down or like it is right now, little yellow handle right there. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you how much it is. Okay. Right there. And it's it's full, it's clear. You won't have to worry about this stuff till it starts getting dark. Okay. And then you'll change your filter every now and then and all that, and that's it. But just when you check it, make sure front end loader and everything is down and let it set a minute or two. Okay. And the only other thing, when Backhoe is off, and you start hooking up your three-point hitch. Mm -hmm. Part of it goes here, part of it will go down underneath. Okay. Kind of shackle type stuff. And I've got it here. And it's a heavy. There you go. Much. Here's your three point hitch. Okay, hitch. Cool. You may want to get the tractor and bring it down, take it. But what it is, it's basically in a, um, say, a shelf with every, all cutouts where everything goes in this type deal. Okay. <clears throat> the only trick is. Looking at the back of the machine, your adjuster rod or adjuster arm will be on the right side. Okay. If you get that on, then the rest of it will kind of go real easy. But one guy that's supposedly a mechanic, he said to hell with it and gave it back to us and said, come get this thing and put it on it. Because <laughs> it's, well, hopefully there's a whole it, huh? bunch of pieces in there, but once you get it together, it's not that bad. Cool. Alrighty.